Good morning, Jeremy, yet again. Yes. Yeah. Now, you've brought uh, Thomas Slattery to I us I have brought today. Thomas Slattery today, even though he's on the Pioneer Board as Dean James Slattery. Ah. That's one of the little errors that are on the board. But he was the first Catholic priest permanently in Warrnambool, so I'm, I'm continuing my theme of clergyman. Right, OK. <laughs> um, so he was born in Limerick in Ireland in 1807 and ordained in 1837 in Ireland and then came to the colonies arriving in Sydney in 1838. So he was very early on. Hmm. Um, and he was at the Bathurst in central western New South Wales for 10 years. Um, and at that stage, the... Catholic Church in Victoria was separated from the Catholic Church in New South Wales and the first Bishop of Melbourne was appointed. Mm. And it wasn't Slattery, but Slattery was chosen as a priest to go with um, Bishop Perry to Melbourne. And um, having got to Melbourne, he was then said, go to Warrnambool. And um, like Beamish in a previous talk, mm. um, his parish was basically the whole of the Western District, Geelong to the border to Hamilton. Right. That, that was where he had to look after. Right, OK. Um, so a massive job again. Being a Catholic clergyman, of course, there's no family or anything to talk about. No. Um, so uh, he conducted his first Mass in this area in the old Catholic Church at Tower Hill on St Patrick's Day, 1849. That would, would have been a very appropriate day for that to happen. Hmm. And... History records that he and Beamish often rode together for companionship and probably protection right, yeah. as they covered the vast areas of their parishes which were essentially similar. Hmm. And um, Probably had some interesting theological discussions along the way as well. I'm <laughs> sure they did. <laughs> as with Beamish, as well as looking after the township of Warrnambool, uh, Father Slattery had to look after the outlying areas and, uh, and they did that by going visiting. Mm. When Slattery first came to Warrnambool, the everybody's church that we talked about, the wooden building um, on the corner of uh, Banyan and Tymore Streets was where uh, they would have conducted their services. Um, but it wasn't long before, like the Anglicans, there was a move to have their own church and the first Catholic church in Warrnambool was on the southwest corner of Kelp and Tymore Street. It was a wooden building facing Kelp Street, and there was a small wooden cottage on the same site which served as the presbytery at that stage. Hmm, okay. It wasn't long, however, before they were granted the land where the present St Joseph's Church is, and in 1856 they began a building there which are now some of the ancillary buildings on the Raglan Parade side of the church site. Right. Uh, was the original worship area. It was quite quickly outgrown um, because of the, the Catholic population in the area. And in 1869, work began on the current St Joseph's Church. Mm. Um, and it was a long project. Um, Slattery had hoped that he would complete that during his lifetime, but it wasn't completed until eight years after he passed on um, in 1882. Uh, that was when he died. Right, yeah. Um, he's buried in the Warrnambool Cemetery um, in a Slattery family grave because his younger brother, Daniel, had come to Warrnambool uh, with a wife and family. And a little side story about uh, Father Slattery involves Daniel um, on the 24th of August, 1857, two Warnable boats, we'll call them, they probably didn't qualify as ships, the Ladybird and the Champion, for some reason, collided head-on off Cape Otway. Right. Uh, so one was going to Melbourne and one was coming from Melbourne back to Warnable, And there was 25 people lost their lives, hmm. um, all from the Champion. Um, they were, a lot were saved from the champion, including a certain helpman who went on to be quite famous. But one of those lost was Daniel Slattery, right. um, the, the father's brother. He was only 75 when he died, um, significant age in those days, I guess, but um, he, he felt that he hadn't finished his work 
and his brother's widow um, was instrumental in caring for him in his last days as he as he went downhill. Mm. And Slattery Street, again in West Warrnambool, is named in honour of Father Slattery. Mm. Um, it's easy to miss Slattery Street because it's a very little short one on the north side of the highway that sort of runs from the highway just to the bottom of West Warrnambool Primary School. So it's, it's only quite a tiny street, um, mm. but that's named in his honour. Right, yeah, fantastic. Do we, do we know, um, it's interesting what you say about them, them riding together, uh, um, Slattery and, and, and Beamish, and given the, you know, how those sort of rivalries kind of developed later, I guess, between Catholics and Anglicans and so on, but at that time I wonder if they were a little bit more amicable with with each other perhaps <laughs> or, or was well, there just a certain practicality to their relationship I wonder um, needs be yeah, yeah. practicalities yeah. I think I I have no insight into how their theologies would compare but um, there's no record of them ever getting to fisticuffs or anything so no, they right. must have been able to ride <laughs> through the bush comfortably together and, and look after each other to that yeah. extent yeah. yeah and I wonder when they were choosing their sites or not that they you know, or, or having that input to that if there would have been much much um, sort of, you know, one-upmanship perhaps about, well, we got this site, you know, or we're building here, you know. I've not seen any record of that apart from, <laughs> apart from Beamish's determination to have a prominent site right, for his yeah, church. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Which came after the Catholic one, I think, did it with the, those dates? Or? Um, well, no, the, the original Catholic church, remember, was down in East Warrnambool. Right, in, okay, right. In Kelp Street. Right, right. Um, so Beamish had his prominent site before the Catholics were granted the, the present St. Joseph site. Right, okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which in some ways is a more prominent site now, you'd think, wouldn't it? Yes, Perhaps, yeah, yeah anyway. in oh, some well. ways. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. Ray, thanks again then. We'll catch up with you soon. Thank you, Jeremy.